Top U.S. officials meeting in person with Ukrainian President Zelensky and his top advisors for the first time in the capital city of Kyiv. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin now the highest level officials to visit the war-torn country since the invasion. And the visit comes as Russia launches new attacks along the southern coast. Joining me now from Kyiv, ABC News national correspondent Marcus Moore. Marcus, Secretary of State Blinken saying Russia has already failed to meet its goals in this war. What goals are we talking about specifically and what do they mean when they say they haven't met them? Well, Kira, first and foremost, we all know about Russia's attempt to take Kyiv, the capital where we are tonight, and how the Ukrainians were able to stop them. The suburbs of this city became the front line, and while they have been destroyed, many of them, they did cause the Russians to pull back. And they have since focused now their attention on the east, and in particular the Donbas region, where uh, the Russians perhaps believe they could have the best chance at a victory. But while they've been able to take some of the smaller towns, they have not had much success in taking large cities here. And also their progress in their offensive uh, seems to have stalled. So when the Secretary is talking about them not meeting their goals. Uh, he certainly is uh, talking about those two um, elements of this, this conflict that's continued to unfold now for more than two months now. Well, we've also learned, Marcus, as you know, that the U.S. will provide Ukraine with $322 million in new aid. What does that actually look like, and when can Ukraine expect to see that support? Well, what's different, uh, what will be different about this package is that early on and in recent weeks, the Ukrainians have been receiving um, helicopters, drones, ammunition. Uh, but with this latest package, they uh, are expected to receive uh, more howitzers, which are cannons that give them more long-range capability. As you know, they have been in a defensive posture, but this new equipment will allow them to uh, perhaps uh, carry out counterattacks on the Russians as they try to defend the, the eastern part of the country. And certainly, uh, the Ukrainians have been quite vocal from the very beginning about their need for additional aid from the U.S. And uh, early on, they were critical about the speed of that aid. Uh, but as the time has gone on, and now with this latest acknowledgement and announcement that more aid is on the way, uh, they, the president even said that he is, is pleased with the the speed at which they're receiving this aid. Uh, but Kira, the question at this point from here will be, uh, what will this aid mean for not only the short term, but the long term if this conflict, if this war continues to, to stretch on? Well, it looks like it's stretching on. You've been reporting this. We've been reporting this. Russian forces targeting Ukrainian cities along the southern coast, first in Mariupol, now Odessa. So what do you think the strategic significance is at this point uh, of these specific locations? Well, the, the experts and the observers who have been watching this for quite some time will tell you that it, it appears that Russia is trying to focus its, its resources on the eastern part of the country to take the Donbass region. And that, at this point, Kira, is no mystery because a senior commander uh, with the Russian army um, even acknowledged that that is their goal, to uh, not only take the Donbass region, but also secure the southern territory of, of Ukraine. And one of their goals is to be able to create a land bridge from Crimea uh, through to the Donbass region, which will uh, not only be a symbolic, uh, if they were able to achieve this, it would be a symbolic victory for them, but also a strategic one, as they would control, uh, presumably, a very large swath of land here in Ukraine, and that includes the port cities of Mariupol and also Odessa. Uh, but again, that has not happened, uh, but the belief is that that's what Russia is trying to do. All right, Marcus Moore there for us in Kyiv. Marcus, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.